Welcome to the Medical Dialogues. I am Dr. B.P. Rahul, Senior Consultant at Sanjeevan Hospital and today I will be discussing about post pituitary surgery copeptin measurement is a potential tool to exclude diabetes insipidus early post-operatively. A study was published by Research Square Journal to determine whether copeptin analysis can be used to predict which patients are at risk of developing diabetes insipidus following transesphenoidal adenomectomy. Pituitary gland surgery is often accompanied by post-operative complication of diabetes insipidus. It could be an immediate after effect or may occur transiently over time. Efficient diagnosis of diabetes insipidus is limited by the challenge of directly assaying arginine vasopressin, which has a short half-life in vivo, is unstable ex vivo even when frozen. It is also affected by slow or incomplete separation from platelets. The study involving collecting plasma samples from 78 patients undergoing elective transesphenoidal adenomectomy at John Radcliffe Hospital, Oxford University Hospital NHS Foundation Trust, Oxford, UK, between November 2017 and June 2020. Patients were made to undergo pre-operative magnetic resonance imaging of pituitary with contrast and all scans were reported by a neuroradiologist. Lesions less than 1 cm in diameter were classified as macroadenomas and those more than or equals to 1 cm in diameter classified as macroadenomas. A single neurosurgical team carried out all the transesphenoidal adenomectomies. Operations were carried out under journal anesthetic using endoscopic techniques. It was suspected that patients may have developed diabetes insipidus if their urine output was more than 200 ml per hour for three consecutive hours or more than 3 liters per day. And this was confirmed with biochemistry showing high plasma sodium more than 145 millimole per liter and osmolality more than 295 milliosmol per kg with inappropriately low urine osmolality. The 78 patients undergoing transesphenoidal adenomectomy had a median age of 55, range 22 to 85, with 41 of 78 being men. Two patients had estimated glomerular filtration rates less than 30 ml per minute per 1.73 m square and neither of these developed diabetes insipidus. The majority of lesions were macroadenomas, while histologically gonadotroph tumors were the most common. Researchers conclude we confirm that post pituitary surgery cobaptin measurement is useful to exclude diabetes insipidus early postoperatively and propose it as a potential tool to identify patients suitable for early discharge. It will be important to conduct future work on earlier sampling times with real-time assay and combine these results with other clinical and biomedical parameters to provide a robust data set at 24-hour post-pituitary surgery, enabling selection of patients for safe early discharge. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe, and press the bell icon.